Здравствуйте. Как дела? Хорошо. А у вас как дела? Хорошо. Приехали. I didn't know about Ukraine at all. I had no idea, but it is something, the passion that I have for the work I do. So when I came here, I met the people and now I can say after one year that yes, I just love it. I love the place. I love the people. I have not come across such strong and resilient people. Такое есть серьезное что-то, и мы все туда. Ой, было такое, что сутками сидели. Когда было это, в июне, в июле у нас был обстрел большой, так мы не знали, как выйти покушать или воды там принести. Unable to sleep when we started working with her. She was really extremely anxious about winter. Then she was just not functional because she always thought about what will she do, how will she work and but we really kind of mobilized her because she has a lot of resources. She always wanted to help. After speaking to the counselors over a period of seven weeks, she feels much better, she says she sleeps better. They are not only strong and resilient, they are also extremely kind. They are very caring. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you look so Indian, you see? За дочку сильно переживаю. Не можем никак не It's very, very difficult. And if you hear 10, 15 such stories per day, you just don't know how to solve their problems. And definitely they say it that they find huge change after speaking to us, but still. It's sometimes as a human, as for me, very difficult. Sometimes I'm so stressed, I feel that, oh my God, will I be able to survive one more day? And then I have to cope because I cannot kind of transfer this negativity into the team, the work we do, people I live with. You see, I have chosen this life for myself. So I have to take the responsibility of how I feel. I know it's not easy. <laughs> We are also very glad to see you and you know that always. Мы тоже очень рады видеть вас, вы знаете, всегда рады видеть. Вот зайчики, прошли вот это моете. И поплачу с вами, и посмеюсь с вами. Today one of the babushkas told me that uh, when I arrived initially to, to this village, I never trusted you, but then now we look forward for your visit. We trust you because we saw the way you connect with people. We saw the way how you are affected. Coaching emotional, emotional, yeah. emotional. Yeah. It's really difficult. This woman cannot move. So she is so helpless that even if she sees something that is extremely frightening for her, she's so helpless that she cannot move. And that, that really had a very huge impact on me. Любят меня. Любят. Anyone will love you. You're such a wonderful person. Mm. So ICRC has given me a new identity. When I joined the ICRC, I was going through one of the toughest times of my life. But then when I interacted with my beneficiaries, when I saw their pain, when I saw what they have gone through, I felt very little. I felt very selfish. That why am I even thinking about what I went through? It was nothing. It was just a bad marriage and that's it. I have two children, uh, they are in, with their grandparents. If I see my children crying or upset, I'm not able to hug them. I'm not able to wipe their tears and this is the most difficult part of my being here. After I separated, I stopped cooking for six years. But when I moved to Slavyansk, some colleagues said, oh, they like curry, 
they're like this and I was like why can't I do it let me give it a try you know we are very nurturing this motherly feeling that okay you should feed people and it's nice to have people together I'm a very girly girly person you see I like my jewelry and my nails and whatever I really love to dress up then I really get compliments when I dress up traditionally then I love henna I just love it it's like temporary tattoos so yes yeah, sometimes I get my hands painted so I feel very nice I feel okay see I'm not missing out much I am at home <laughs> It's worth the sacrifice when somebody tells me that we are waiting for you to come next time. When they cook for you, when they remember you, when they say that they could sleep better. When they ask about you when you are not there. Yeah, I do see they become more functional. They are coping. For me that motivates me. That really drives me. When I'm traveling to the places where we work, that's the time when I'm reflecting. What am I doing here? Who am I to be here? I think it all it all falls in place once you are sincere to what you are doing. If you are sincerely doing your job, it reflects. It's sometimes very challenging. But then what is life without challenges? Never in itself na. Very good. Try na.